Life is based around small decisions, moments and interactions that no matter how insignificant they seem, ripple through following minutes, years and decades, irreversible and completely unpredictable. Some call it the butterfly effect. My art is the art of breaking this cycle. Foresight. Interpretation. I call it an art because it is just that. I'm holding my own brush of life making tiny alterations, tiny brush strokes to the bigger canvas. How do I do it, you wonder? Because I don't just think outside the box. I am outside the box. Free to watch unsuspecting passers-by as they throw their paint blindly at the canvas, hoping the trickling drops and cascading colours could create a somewhat recognisable picture. It never works. I am aware of the consequences of my actions before I've even thought about doing them. I am aware that Mrs Lewis next door at number 40 will never return home because she left 30 seconds too early to go to the shop. Had she waited to fix her hair briefly in the mirror before she left, she would have never caught the mugger's eye that would end up murdering her for the contents of her handbag. I am aware. The one thorn in my side, the rip in my canvas, is the limitations placed upon my gift by an unseen force, the prevention of interference. I am sentenced to watch the predicted horrors of the world unravel in front of my eyes without the ability to interfere with anyone's life but my own. My canvas is my own to alter. Anyone else is untouchable. Are you even listening to me? I'm going to be late. Oh, for Christ's sake, I'm taking yours. But wait. Before we get into that, I, I suppose I should take you back to this morning. The feeling I'm about to describe is one understood only by those who have endured the same thing, which I would imagine is very few. Try to imagine waking up next to the only person you have ever let your guard down enough, ever trusted enough to love, knowing that that day they were going to die. The hollow feeling that ensues from this thought process is one that is not only impossible to describe with mere words. Everything escapes you, your thoughts, your feelings, appetite, everything. Christ, we're going to be getting married in eight months. <laughs> what makes this torment even worse is having this knowledge and not being able to act upon it. Not being able to say goodbye. My day went a little something like this. Pedestrians, colleagues, Workers all passed without notice through my subconscious vision. <laughs> Morgan Freeman and the Queen could have walked by hand in hand in front of me and I wouldn't have even noticed. To be perfectly honest, I'm not sure I would have even cared. Mentally, there I stay, helplessly suspended between conscious and unconscious, awake yet absent. My thoughts reeled over and over in my head like a screwdriver in a tumble dryer. I wrestled with these thoughts trying to force some sort of answer from them but I failed miserably. This is because there was only one soul crushing thing that I could discern from it. I'm going to have to let go.
Sorry. Isn't all it's cracked up to 